Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another installment of the series, How to Be a Twitch Streamer. This guide, we are going to be showing you guys the Twitch Alerts program, website, all of that jazz. Here you can get follow alerts, uh, subscriber alerts, donation alerts, hosting alerts. You guys can also get um, like things like donation goals, wish lists. You can get a bunch of different things through this program, which we will be showing you in this video. As well, um, if you guys missed the other two guides of this series, the first one being how to get and fully use Nightbot, as well as the best settings for OBS for you, like depending on your internet and computer, it's all there. The link for those two videos, if I can remember, if you're interested, will be in the description below. As long as, as well as with my Twitch and Twitter, if you guys are into both of those, you guys can follow me there for updates and stuff like that. That'd be really nice, of course, only if you want to. So enough of that. Let's get into this video itself, shall we? So if you guys don't know, you can get Twitch alerts at twitchalerts.com. The link for that will be in the description below because I love you. So when you come to the website, you're just going to go on ahead and launch Twitch Alerts. This is going to open me right up to it, but for you, you're going to have to authorize your Twitch account, and that is needed for this program. So don't worry, you just sign in or just click authorize. You might not even have to sign in, and that's going to link it up, and that's like the only way the program is going to work. So two things, two disclaimers uh, about Twitch Alerts. The first thing you're going to need to use this uh, is called CLR Browser for OBS. To get that, just go to the, uh, where would this be under? Something like, I'm trying to think of what tab it would be under. My bad. Um, yeah, you can go to like to down to the donation goal and you can click the CLR browser source plugin and it'll open up to you in a new link. Just you can do that and it'll open up in a new link. And it'll be directions on how to install that. If you don't have it, it takes under a minute and it's super simple, but you're going to need it to use this program. So make sure you get that before watching the guide. And the second disclaimer is Twitch alerts takes 1% of all donations. So if you get, uh, donated one dollar it's going to take one percent if you go if you get donated one billion dollars they're going to take one percent so if that's not you know if you're not okay with that i'm giving you the warning now you can click away but if you are it's a really good program so we're going to go through all the tabs so when you come here you see the dashboard and this is going to show your followers your subscriptions your donations and donation amount for whatever and the bar graph for whatever you have it set to today this week this month this year or whatever and here is going to be a brief little description of stuff like that and this is just your dashboard that you can set here next the my donations tab will show a list of all your donations when it happened date day year uh, day date year and time the donators twitch name how much they donated and then their message if they left one the my subscribers tab is the same thing except for your subscribers which I don't have a sub button yet face uh, donation settings is where we you set up your your donation page. So the first thing you have to do is uh, to get donations, you're gonna have to have a PayPal. So make sure you type in your PayPal email and click connect. You're not signing in. It's not opening you to a new tab. You're literally just typing in your email. So your PayPal email. So make sure you do not typo because if you typo, the money is going nowhere. Or if you typo and that is uh, coincidentally someone's PayPal email they're gonna get the money so look at your typing carefully and make sure you uh, did it properly put your currency here and then the donation see page currency is gonna be detect automatically so whoever clicks on the link it'll detect it automatically minimum amount has to be a dollar uh, well it doesn't have to be the least it can be is a dollar you can put it to whatever you want it just has to be at least a dollar suggested amount goes the same I have mine set to what my minimum is this is going to be your donation page link. So you can copy that into your donate panel on your Twitch, this link right here. And you can always go back here to get it. So when someone clicks on your donate link, it's going to pop up. Your button color is going to be the color of this donate button here. You can adjust that or type in your own custom color there. Your donation memo is what's going to show up here. So you guys can customize that the way you want it to. 
Banner override is going to be your banner here. If you want to create your own, you can, or find a Google image or something that you want. Just make sure your banner is 640 by 190 so it fits in here. If your channel is not 18 plus or rated R or whatever the term is, and you want a profanity filter or just custom bad words in general, you guys can go ahead and type those in there. And once you're done here, obviously don't click away. Make sure you save settings. I'm going to take a drink of coffee really quick. Excuse me, guys. It's quite early. Okay. Next is the wish list. Now, this is a pretty cool feature. What you can do is add an item and post an Amazon link in here or just customize it yourself. And when they go to donate, there on the little side here is going to be a send a gift tab. And then they can click on the gift and then they'll even type the name in and put the exact amount. They can still type their donation message and they can send you that. It won't send you the item, but it will so uh, it will send the exact amount of money of the item and then show up as the fact that they donated the gift and that's what the money's for. So that's a pretty cool concept. There, nothing too special um, there, but it's a it's a really cool feature. So you can post an Amazon link in there and everything shows up automatically. Or you can just type in uh, the name yourself, the price yourself, the currency yourself, and then just upload an image somewhere if you have it or have one and put it there. So that's pretty cool. Donation goal. You can set up a donation goal that will show on your donation page and on stream. You can title it whenever you want. You can put your goal amount if you want to have a starting amount and when it ends and you can start the donation goal and you know the viewers can see it. API settings, don't worry about those. Make sure you don't show them to anyone. Here is the donation goal. This is it in the long run. This is what's going to show up on your stream. And sorry, a car, a, uh, a semi just went by and I have my window open. My bad about that. Um, here's where you can have your goal. This is what's going to show up. You guys can obviously change its layout. It's background color. It's text color. The bar text color. The bar background color. You can change that all here. And the bar thickness. So... Yeah, you guys and the font. So you guys can change that here and that's what's going to show up. Uh, stream labels is a program that I'm going to be doing a completely separate guide on. So if you want to see that, let me know. And once it's out, the link for it will be in the description of this video. Donation ticker. Uh, you can set a message format. How many donations are on the ticker? If you want to scroll speed and what it is, the background color, the font of it, the font size and width, the text color, the name of the person's text color and the amount of the money text color. And what you can do is you can have it scrolling across your screen and it will show however many donations you have on there. If you want to shout out an X amount of recent donators and it donate, it ticks donations. So any way to launch these is super simple. All of these will have its own link. Um, alert box is its own link for all of them. The donation goal has a different link. The donation ticker has a different link and the chat box has a different link. We'll be showing you how to set the link up for alert box and every other link goes the same. Chat box. This is a cool new widget. You can have a certain theme. As you can see, they keep coming out with a bunch of different ones. You can have uh, those are so self-explanatory if you guys want those to show up. The background color, depending on what background you have it sitting on. The text color, same thing. You can have a text size on it. Uh, you can have it always show the messages. You can hide, have it hide after a while. You can hide cha uh, common chat box bots unless if you want them to show. And you guys can just copy this link, which will show you, like I said, how to do that for the alert box. It's the same for them all. And you guys can have a chat. It's its own chat plugin. It's really cool. I personally think that this chat plugin uh, looks better, shows up better works better than the night dev one but that's just my opinion so if you guys are using the night dev one maybe you guys can try this out and check it out or if you're not using one at all and you think it fits to your game your overlay your stream you can use it here now for probably what everyone is here for the alert box so let's just show you guys how to put those links into your OBS even though it's super simple so once you have CLR browser installed like I said earlier on which is the reason we're doing this all you do is right click add under sources obviously and click CLR browser which if you install the CLR browser it'll be there properly name it whatever you want twitch alerts would be sitting or donation ticker if that's what it's for or chat box if that's what it's for or donation goal if that's what it's for you know something you guys can remember and then after you do that 
this box will show up. You back up the URL, ULR, and all URL. Sorry, and all you do is you copy and paste the URL that's here. It's like I said, it's separate for this uh, alert box has all the alerts, and then donation goal is its own donation goal. Chat box is its own link. Donation ticker is its own link, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you have to make a new one every time. But all you do is right-click, add a CLR browser, type in the URL, click OK, and you're good to go. You can edit it from there. It's super simple. So the we're just going to talk about the follower alert uh, and the donation alert, and then you will get it by then because all of the settings are like <laughs> super, super, super simple. So alert settings, the background color doesn't really do much. Alert delay, if you for some reason want to have it a delay, you can do it there. The different types of layouts. And let's start with the donation the donation alert and you should know how to do everything else so here's where you enable or disable it once again the layout if you want to have it in animation like fading in somewhere zooming in somewhere bouncing in somewhere sliding in somewhere depending on your layout is probably how you're going to have that same with if you want it to zoom out bounce out slide out fade out you guys can set that there it's all very simple uh, minimum amount to alert uh, if you want it only to alert for a certain amount of donations you can type it in there your message template um, just make sure you remember that the bracket or whatever that that called that that type of bracket uh, I can't think of that symbol that symbol name is the name of the guy and that symbol amount uh, starting and ending in those symbols are the amount in the name so make sure you have that in there somewhere but you can basically customize it any way you want there text animation you can have it in certain type of things it gives you the, the uh, um, sample text there sound volume you can mess up uh, mess with alert duration how long you want the a donate a donation to pop up you can have there certain settings you can have here like how do you if you want it to show the message or not if you want allow twitch emotes or not if you want to put in a minimum amount to show the donation message the type of font the size and weight of the font the color of the font under font settings, you can have the font type, like the name of the font, the size, the weight, and the same thing with the color and highlight color. You can then go here and you can upload an image yourself of anything you want. It can be a still image, it can be a GIF, or you can go to all files, uh, sorry, images, and do uh, a bunch of community, just custom ones they have. Same with sounds, you guys can click on them and listen. So. Or if you don't have the still picture or GIF on your screen, you can click this little link thing and type in an image URL. And if it's an image URL or GIF, it'll pop up here automatically. And same for the sound. So you can find GIFs online, pictures online, or if you have your own picture and sound, you can import them here. And it's super simple. And you click save. And that is how you do it for hosting, subscriptions, and followers. It's all the same. See, the this is the same. The animation's the same. The message template's the same. The animation's the same. The font settings are the same. Sound volume and alert duration are the same, as well as uploading if you want a stale image or a GIF or a sound or whatever. Same with the hosting. They're, all these settings are self-explanatory, and they're the same. And once again, to add the link, all you do, right-click Sources, add CLR browser, copy the link in there, and you're good to go. Most of it's self-explanatory, but I hope this guide helped you out. If it did, make sure you smack that like button so we can spread it around if you enjoyed. Also, make sure to click the subscribe button if you want to see more gameplay slash tutorials from me. If you guys have a stream tutorial you want to see, recommend it in the comment section below, and you could get shouted out in the next one. Also, if you're interested in the other two, and everything I said will be linked in the description below, along with my Twitch and Twitter. I want to thank you guys a lot for rocking with me today. Have a good one.